Hello and welcome to the channel. Incredibly excited to bring you a review on the MaxFine FF Belt. This board is the first board of 2022 that exceeded all of my expectations in nearly every single category associated with this board. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the review, starting with the deck. This deck is a PPS and glass fiber composite. And what that means is this board has some flex to it. And in my opinion, this is a welcomed addition for a couple of different reasons. One of which the flex on this board is amazing. It does an excellent job of eating up those cracks and vibrations when the roads are not all that ideal. It also feels great when you're dewetting yourself and going over bumps, really enjoy it. Secondly, this is a welcome addition in my opinion because so many brands are coming out with decks and boards that are made up of carbon fiber. And it seems like that seems to be like a, a trend right now. But when you have a carbon fiber deck, it's going to be on the stiffer side. And what I've observed and noticed when riding boards that have that carbon fiber material is that when you go over bumps and less than ideal roads, you're going to feel a lot more vibrations and such, especially if you're utilizing street wheels. Now that could be mitigated some when you use AT wheels, but nevertheless, there is a difference in the feel when you go over bumps, when you have a deck that gives you some flex versus a deck that is just completely stiff. So I really enjoy the composite on this deck because it helps when de-weighting yourself, but it returns to center excellently when going over those bumps. Moreover, one of the things that I just really enjoy about the deck is the fact that the battery is actually encased within the deck. Now, it's not super sleek like you'll see on some other carbon fiber boards in that you can't even tell that there is a battery in the board itself, but I think MaxFine had to do this particularly because of the size of the battery that they gave us, and I'll discuss that a little bit more later in the video. Even so, this board has a very sleek look and sleek design. And to be honest about it, to me, it looks like MaxFine is really trying to take things to a whole nother level with their boards and not only it looking like a quality product but actually performing like a quality product when you look under the deck you also notice they have some cool marketing and branding under there with some qr codes where you can scan and get to their social media and their website and such which i think is a pretty nice touch because it shows that max fine is really trying to pay attention to the details which is very nice one of the things that was really interesting to me about this deck is the fact that they're actually not using grip tape on this deck. It is a rubberized material that has some grippiness there, but I think it serves a couple of different purposes. Now, when I saw this, of course I was wondering, is this gonna have the traction that I need to carve and pump and de-weight myself when riding the board? And I can say, yes, it does, and it serves its purpose. But in addition to just being rubbery, I think there's an added benefit and one of those is a little bit of waterproofing, but then also it gives you a little bit of shock absorption. And when you pair that with the flex of this deck, it really makes for a very comfortable ride and something that MaxFine just really did a really good job with as it relates to the look and feel of the deck, how good it feels when actually riding and just doing some unique things as it relates to the deck of their board. Overall, very solid stuff, no complaints. The trucks on Max Fine boards has always been something that has been interesting to me. This board, of course, is utilizing the double kingpin setup. And if you watch my channel, I don't have anything against double kingpin boards or double kingpin setups, but I generally prefer reverse kingpin setups. However, I don't know what it is, but the stability that I felt when riding this board was at a little bit higher level than some of the other boards that I've ridden with double kingpin trucks. I really can't put my finger on it as to why. Maybe it's the Duro, maybe it's the width of the trucks, but it's just something about it. Now, additionally, what you're gonna notice is that these trucks are actually made out of a pretty unique looking material. And it kind of has a fit and finish that is similar almost to what you would see in the bed liners of trucks. I think it's called like Rhino bed liner or something like that, where it has that coarsey type material that helps when you put things in the bed of your truck that it doesn't scratch your trunk. And it's the same thing with these trucks in that they're kind of like shock and scratch resistant, so to speak, 
because of the material that they're actually using on these trucks. So I really don't have any major complaints with these trucks. I actually really enjoy them. I did tighten them down. When I tell you that I was able to hit the top speed on this board and feel very stable when doing so, a lot of that is a byproduct of these trucks and how stable I felt. Really another solid category and area on this board. Max Fine is just doing a really good job. Probably my favorite component on this board is the battery setup. Max Fine is utilizing a 12S 3P Samsung battery setup. And the battery has 376 watt hours and Max Fine advertises that the board can get up to 25 miles. Now we all know that whenever companies list those specs as it relates to range and things like that, there are so many different factors and variables that actually determine the range that an individual would get. Weight, weather, terrain that they're riding, so on and so forth. But the unique component about this battery is that it is a fast swappable battery. And when I say fast swappable battery, I mean fast swappable battery. You don't need any tools. It takes literally 10 seconds to do so. So if you're somebody who's riding and you want to extend your range, if you purchase that extra battery, it literally takes seconds to actually swap out the battery. One of the things that I kind of like when actually checking out this battery setup was that they have a gasket on the inside. I guess that kind of helps with waterproofing and protecting your battery. Now, as I mentioned earlier, MaxFine advertises that this board can get up to 25 miles. And I think that that is a little ambitious, so to speak. And I will do a range test to see what this board is capable of. But I could not help but just to think, what if the board, let's just say, got 15 miles range, right? And you purchase an additional battery for the board, that could mean hypothetically that you have a board that can get you about 30 miles range and you maybe only spent 1100 or so on it. So this is definitely really intriguing and definitely another category that's showing that Max Fine is trying to be innovative here and trying to take things to a whole nother level as it relates to the quality and the performance of their boards. Just another area that they did very good in. The drivetrain system and the performance on this board was very impressive to say the least. And this is one of the reasons why I said this is probably the most surprising board that I probably have had in about six months as it relates to just being impressed with just almost all of the different categories of the board. As it relates to the speed, torque, and acceleration, all of those things were at a very high level when riding this board. Max Fine advertises that this board can get up to 28 miles an hour. I was actually able to achieve that. And the speed and acceleration were really something that I just wasn't expecting this. I just was not. I've reviewed other Max Fine boards, and while they are solid boards, they're not going to win an award for the most powerful and the most highest accelerating boards. But Max Fine, with this particular board, did a lot of things differently, and they did a lot of things well. I was looking at some of the footage that I had when I was actually riding this board around, and there was one shot where my buddy of mine was actually filming me and I went by him and I just accelerated by him and I took off so fast that I actually left him behind. And I, I'm not gonna show what he said in the footage, but he actually cussed in the footage and said, dang, because he, he felt like he missed the shot. But even though I kind of got out of frame a little bit, I was able to look at the footage and realize how fast I was actually accelerating and how fast I took off and how quickly I left him. And that is just something I just was not expecting with this board. And to me, like I said, it's another area that shows that Max Fine is trying to take things to another level and are trying to create products that people look at and say, you know what, that is a solid product. So very nice there. When you look at the motors as well, this board came standard with bash guards and the bash guards look very nice as well. They're very stylish looking. Some brands, when they create bash guards for their boards, they almost look like an afterthought. That was not the case at all with these bash guards. Very sleek looking, matched the board accordingly. Can tell this was another component that Max Fine was very intentional about. Just, and that's, that's probably a word I should have used a lot more throughout this review because 
I just feel like everything that was done on this board was very intentional and purposeful. And it just really shows in how the board looks and how the board performs. Another area that is just really at a high level as it relates to this board, just really knocking it out of the park in a lot of different categories and areas. On top of the performance and the aesthetics of the board, probably one of the most important variables as it relates to Escape is the ESC that's being used on a board because an ESC can either make or break a board in so many different ways. This board is utilizing a Hobby Wing ESC and is utilizing one of the most up-to-date Hobby Wing ESCs because you can actually turn the board on by just turning on the remote, which is a feature I just love, which is that standby mode because you don't have to bend over, turn the board on. And it's just a convenient way to, to travel around because if you're riding public transportation, hit your remote, turn your board on, it's time to ride. You sat down, had a cup of coffee, you're ready to roll out, turn your remote out, get on your board, ride out. Of course, with Hobby Wing ESCs, the controls are smooth. The acceleration is smooth. The braking is smooth. And that is the case here on this board as well. Another area <laughs> that Max Fine really just kind of knocked it out of the park with. And of course, one of the items that's paired with the ESC is the remote. And this remote has a screen indicator on there that gives you a variety of information that we have become accustomed to seeing on our boards and on our remotes, speed, abdominer, um, battery for the remote, battery for the board, just good information and details there. And then of course, this remote also has the ability to make the board go in reverse if you want to. So just another area and component that is very solid as well. This remote paired with this Hobby Wing ESC just makes for a safe, but then also fun riding experience. In addition to the torque and acceleration, one of the things that I think also contributed to the comfort of this board, in addition to just the deck itself having good flex and the rubberized grip tape, so to speak, is the wheels that come standard with this board. They really help eat up those cracks and those vibrations. And this style of wheel is really, really starting to grow on me. Um, to be honest, I was more of a street wheel type person, but it just seems like the roads in Atlanta are just getting worse and worse. So having a wheel like this is great, not only for comfort, but I've mentioned this on so many of my other reviews when I would review wheels that are similar to this. Wheels like this also increase your safety margin, which means that if you go over a crack or a bump that you didn't see, or you didn't have enough time to de-weight yourself, it gives you the opportunity to survive not seeing that imperfection in the road. So these wheels paired with this drivetrain, paired with this deck, just make it for a really nice ride experience. And this is gonna take me into one of my favorite sections of my reviews, which is the nitpick section. And this is the area where I share constructive criticism and provide feedback on different things on the board that I think not only consumers should be aware about, but then also the company should be aware about as well. As I mentioned earlier, Max Fine did an amazing job with this board. There is very little that I have to say negative about this board. Probably the only thing, in my opinion, that when I looked at it, I was like, hmm, I wish they could have did something a little bit different, is maybe just the look of the remote. Um, when I looked at the remote initially, I was like, Ugh, it's not the most attractive looking remote. But then when I had it in my hand, when I was riding, all of those things about the aesthetics of the remote just went out the door because the remote felt so good. The scroll wheel felt amazing and really, the looks just became a non-factor, so to speak. So that's not really a big deal whatsoever. The other thing that, something that I noticed is that of course this board has a, a handle on the front so you can actually pull the board, which I think is an ingenious idea and I really like this. But for someone my height, when I actually use the handle, my motor guards actually scratch the ground. So I really wasn't able to use the handle a lot, but it wasn't a big deal um, for a couple of different reasons, one of which is this board is very portable. It's not super heavy at all, which makes it easy to just kind of carry around like a regular long board. So the fact that I couldn't really pull the handle wasn't too big of a deal. I actually, most of the time, would pull it by the motor guards in the back and that seemed to actually work for me. So overall, those are my only nitpicks that I have about this board. And that's gonna just take me into my final thoughts. 
And guys, as I have just mentioned throughout this review, I really, really enjoyed this board. It shocked me. It exceeded my expectations in nearly every category. The board looks good. The bash guards on the rear to protect the motors look like they were done intentionally. The fast swappable battery is actually a fast swappable battery setup. You don't have to use tools or anything like that. It literally takes seconds to actually swap that out. The size of the battery that they're giving us, 300 and about 50 watt hours, which is not bad at all. And if you purchase a secondary battery, that means that you know you hypothetically can be getting anywhere from 30 to 50 miles range on your board for a board that's maybe around 11, 1200 bucks when you purchase that additional battery. Another thing that is just really solid there. The acceleration, the torque, and the speed, in my opinion, were very impressive. A couple of people that I let ride the board, they were impressed with it. And, and, and often I do that because when I get something and, it's, and I'm feeling like it's just really good, sometimes I'm like, am I too hyped? Am I just excited that I have this? But when I get confirmation from other people and they say, yeah, that was a, a nice riding experience. It let me know that they're on to something. So overall, I just feel like Max Fine did a lot of things good with this board, a lot of things right. I think that if people purchase this board, they would have a really good time on this board. Um, if you wanna learn more about this particular board, please check out the links in the description. They not only allow you to get additional information, but they also support the channel. Remember, PEVs allow you to be everywhere, and I will see you at the top because the bottom is too crowded. Don't forget to cop my new children's book that I wrote with my son about our journey of learning how to ride electric skateboards. Peace. Thank you.